Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let me get this computer set up down here. Just be patient with me here. Um, I tried to do the live stream a little bit ago, and Google had all this crazy security stuff that popped up, and I wasn't able to do a live stream. It stopped me. Be encounter productive. Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's all right out there. Looks like a couple people might be watching right now, and that's fine with me. It's hard to talk to too many people sometimes. Uh, it is Saturday at Overland Expo West, and it is packed. They sold apparently 28,000 tickets, which is absolutely insane. Uh, and, whoa, something just fell. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy in here, though. There's a lot of stuff. It's overwhelming, almost. So, good morning, guys. Morning, Steve-O. Morning, John. Is your name really John Hancock? That's funny. Uh, yeah, it's it's been awesome so far. I think today I'm going to be taking you guys out into the chaos and uh, checking some stuff out. Uh, there's almost too much stuff. You can't see everything here. It's impossible. So, uh, I stayed up really late last night. The open mic was awesome. Uh, we had an unexpectedly large crowd. I was actually shocked. Uh, and it went really well. Hopefully get some more people playing tonight. That'd be cool. Hello, everybody. One big hello. As I'm speaking, there's a whole bunch of people walking around the truck house and <laughs> checking it out out there. So that's, that's kind of funny. feels funny to be doing a live stream, but honestly, the whole reason I'm doing a live stream is because I made a, uh, a Bloody Mary this morning. I made it too strong, and I feel like a little too tied on to go walking around right now, so. I'm going to sit here and talk to you guys instead before I go out into the big world and have to deal with humans face to face. I'm in the uh, Sarfras. Am I saying that right? I'm uh, Overland Expo West. So it's in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. And uh, it's like the largest gathering of four wheel drive and overland vehicles in the world, to my knowledge. Uh, it, like I was saying, they sold uh, 28,000 tickets this weekend. So, or that's the rumor. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people here. It's pretty crazy. Pretty cray cray. Out of office, what's up? Have I seen uh, Ambition Strikes? I have not. Um, are they out here? I don't know. I've only ran into, I hung out with Phil a bunch here, and that's the only uh, YouTuber I've really hung out with. I'm sure they're out there. But uh, I'm going to get out there today and check it out a little bit more. If you know what I'm saying. No, it's funny. I just thought of this. If people are like outside of the camper looking at her, tune into the live stream. That'd be that'd be funny. Just seeing what I'm doing in here. But I'll probably talk to you guys. Maybe I don't know. I'll give it 15 minutes or so here, and then I'm probably gonna go out into the big world, see what happens. Helix booth, cool. Yeah, I'll check that out. Out of office. I'm sure they're uh, out there. It's uh. There's so much going on. It's so overwhelming. It's like, even if you know where something is, you still can't find it. Or that's how I feel, at least walking around. It's pretty nuts. Craig, I did make it to Red Rocks, actually. Uh, I went there a couple nights. I caught a, uh, uh, it was a green sky bluegrass. I got to see uh, Willie Nelson's son play the first night. And then uh, I can't remember the band the second night that opened for green sky, but it was awesome. Super cool venue. Highly recommend it if you guys haven't been. Let's see. I'm going to try to answer more questions you guys are throwing at me this morning before I take off. Because I've been bad at that. What up, Christy? Nebraska? That sounds crazy. Well, no, maybe one day I'll have to drive through there. I imagine. Let's see. Go find Marco and Overland X. Make him cook you a meal. Nice. Uh, yeah, I need to find uh, Brad from Trail Recon, actually. I'm going to go, like, track him down today. I'm sure he's around. Yeah, go try to find some other YouTubers. Um, Mix Flip is out here. He's like, I think he's like one of the best people for making videos of events. He, uh, he spends like the perfect amount of time with each person talking about stuff. And I, I, li I like his stuff. He's out here somewhere though. Maybe I'll run into him. Film him. Let's see here. Doug's asking how I like the Highway Products boxes. Awesome, man. They're total game changers for a space. Uh, it'll be even better when my camper jacks aren't taking up the majority of one of them. But 
yeah, I'm loving them so far. The storage is super nice. It's all right. I'm, I'm looking down at y'all's comments down here, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm staring down all the time. I could hold the laptop up and block you guys instead. Let's see. Jerry's asking, I know the video's coming, but what was wrong with your truck? Uh, I just broke down, bro. Way deep. We're uh, basically as deep as you can get out the four-wheel drive trail. And I had a uh, uh, engine just cut off while I was uh, idling. And it would not start back. I'd turn it over and it'd crank really hard, but it wouldn't fire. Like it wasn't getting fuel or auction, one of the two. And uh, it turned out to be the camp shop positioning sensor, the CPS. And I knew it was that when it happened. And I had a spare one in my glove box. So I fixed it immediately. And unfortunately, I didn't push the sensor into the engine block enough. So it didn't engage. And uh, I just went up spending like almost 2000 bucks on everything trying to fix it. And then got towed out of there eventually. And then the mechanic I went to, uh, uh, he was like, yeah, it looks like this camshaft sensor is not pushed in enough. <laughs> so that was a, it was like a $3,000 lesson. It's pretty messed up. But that's what's up with the truck. She's running great now. Running like a top. Let's see. Let me look down at these comments up in here. What's going on, y'all? What's happening? Uh, what kind of miles a gallon do I get? 13 miles a gallon. It's like 12.8 all the time. Like I can take the camper off, put it on, tow a snow machine. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's 13. So it's not too bad. I feel like. Doug's asking if I'm camping at the rally. I am. So if you guys come to Overland Expo West, uh, the truck house is parked in the do-it-yourself showcase area, they call it. Um, there's a lot of cool rigs here. There's 19 rigs in the showcase area. Um, Four-wheel campers is right beside me. They're right out the window. And uh, Storytellers Overland, they build like super nice Sprinter vans, but I don't really like Sprinters, but... Uh, they're right there. So lots of stuff around here. And then I'm just off of the main street where everything's happening. So it's nice. There's not like not too many people, but I can go be in people if I want to. But it's cool. If you guys are local, you should come down, check it out. It's uh, it's going to be a big day today. Um, if you're around tonight at the expo, I'm throwing another open mic uh, starting when the sun goes down. So it was awesome last night. A lot of folks showed up. Anyhow. Rolling down these comments. Got a question on how the AC is doing. It's doing great. I only had to use it at uh, Burning Man where it was like 104 degrees. And uh, it kept it 62 degrees in the camper. And that Honda 1000 uh, will run this little portable AC for about six hours um, on half a gallon of gas. It's freaking awesome. So it was, uh, it's coming handy. But now the tables are turning. It's like, it's kind of approaching fall, starting to get cooler. So yeah, no more AC. Those days are done, I think. But I am going to be going to uh, Las Vegas after this. Just to, it's just, I don't know. It's probably lame, but I just want to go drive this thing through Las Vegas because I think it'd be funny. And uh, then probably go to Slab City. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. You should look up Slab City and uh, maybe catch the open mic at Slab City uh next saturday night is the plan so that might be fun slash sketchy i don't know yet I'm sure it'll be all right looking down these comments down here cowboy campers asking how much longer i'm in the lower 48 uh not too much longer i've got kind of a complicated situation um i'm going to be leaving the camper in phoenix arizona and i've just got a a, a sick uh parents so i'm gonna fly back and help them out for a while so i'm gonna be doing that and then i'll probably drive back to alaska in the middle of december i'm guessing so i'm gonna leave the camper here for about a month and a half or so in phoenix so but the good news is i have is i have a uh, absolute ton of content stacked up so the videos will still be coming the whole time even though i'm away from the truck camper for a month and a half so don't worry about that i got you guys covered thinking about you guys Let's see. I use my purse to smack the cam sensors in. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I didn't do it. I, I can't remember. I tried to like pry the cam sensor in. It's in a horrible spot. But I don't know. When I went to the mechanic, he was trying to help me diagnose all this stuff and had his computer out after I spent four days wrenching on it. And uh, I think like the valve cover, uh, valve covers on top, they have a wiring harness that goes in and it was like all melted and smoking. 
So uh, he's like, yeah, you should definitely replace that. That could be it. So I just went ahead and like did that myself. He let me work in his parking lot, borrow some of his tools and stuff. Had the whole top of my engine off, replaced that. And it still didn't start. And uh, I told him the camshaft sensor that I had put two in. He's like, oh, that's weird. And he looked at it and it was just like sticking out a little too much. So that was embarrassing. Anyhow, that's the story with that. But now I know what to do. The trick with the camshaft sensors, I should make a video on it, is you just oil them up before you pop them in. Imagine that. Let's see. Vegas truck house sounds awesome. Yeah, I think it's going to be funny. Maybe I should go gamble one night. I never gambled. Hmm. Actually, no, I did. I used the slot machine one time. You know, I'll go try it again. I go try like a card game or something and just get worked. I'm really bad at cards. Let's see. Doug's asking what an eddy is. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's basically a slow spot in the river behind a rock. That's it. So if the water goes around the rock and circles around and comes back upstream. So it's a spot where you can like stop in the river before you wash over a waterfall. Works pretty well. All right, I'll probably stay on you guys, or on with you guys another five minutes here, and then I'm going to go peace out. The Bloody Mary's starting to wear off, so I feel like I can go uh, talk to people now. <laughs> Let's see, could be worse. You could have a 6 power stroke. Yeah, I'm gonna, I skipped that chapter. Apparently you can bulletproof those, but it sounds like it's still not too great the situation. So, yeah. Make an adventure. Yes, this is the 7.3 Power Stroke diesel in this thing. So, it's a, it's an awesome engine, actually. it's It's been really good. It's only broken down. I've had four breakdowns in two years in this truck, and most of them have been minor. Uh, all of them have, except one, the fuel pump that kind of sucked. That was bad. And this camshaft sensor sucked, but it wasn't like a major breakdown. But I turned it into a major breakdown. It was my fault. Let's see here. What else we got? Did you make the music thing? He says Raptor. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking to the or talking about the open mic, but yeah, uh, that was last night. Uh, I got some awesome footage of it, so I'll have a video out. Uh, if you guys are wondering, all my videos are like anywhere between two and a half to three weeks behind. So uh, that's what's going on with that. And I forgot. Uh, just I think yesterday I released like an Alaska video. It's like my last one that I forget to release while I was up there. So. That one just randomly popped into your feed, probably, but they should be pretty consistently lined up from here on out. So, from the next one you guys see. And I think I actually, do I cross? Yeah, I think I crossed the U.S. border in this next episode that comes out tomorrow. So, like going from Canada to U.S., so it gets interesting. Randy Johnson, that's my uncle's name, man. Nice. Old Randy, Uncle Randy. Uh, my camper weighs 1,900 pounds on the head. That's uh, loaded with stuff. So that's just what she weighs. I think episode 21, too, I talk about the weight and why it weighs that and why it's not heavier. Yeah, it's good meeting you, too, in uh, Silverton. Raptor, if you're who I think you are. Let's see here. Uh, do we camp on Red Mountain between Uri and Silverton? I can't remember. Um, Brian, I, I did an engineer pass by myself. Brian just like drove out the beginning of the road and turned around after like three or four miles or something. And then I kept going and uh, I spent the night on engineer pass, like right next to the sign. Tried to camp out and then uh, I woke up at 3 a.m. and I could not breathe. Like I had to uh, drive down a descend because it's like 13,000 feet. So. Yeah, that's crazy. Todd's asking what age I started kayaking. Man, I guess uh, 14, I think. Makes sense. Actually, it was really funny. So uh, my dad got a whitewater canoe. So we did that when I was probably 13 or something like that. And uh, one Christmas, like I just really wanted a whitewater kayak. But, you know, I was 14. I couldn't afford anything, even though I worked at a bike shop. Um and uh, I just kept telling him about this kayak and I, I woke up Christmas morning and went to the Christmas tree and they're like tons of more presents than I'd ever seen is weird. So I started opening, I opened the first one and it said to open the next one and open the next one and open the next one. So I kept opening all this stuff. And the last present I got to is like, go out to the roof, go get on the roof of the house. And my dad had taken a ladder and leaned it against the roof. 
and I climbed up on the roof and there was a uh, like a used whitewater kayak sitting up there that he got for 300 bucks as a uh, perception whippet whitewater kayak and that was my first boat the downside is my dad didn't realize you need like a paddle a helmet a life jacket a spray skirt a dry suit like all this stuff so I had to save for all that but um it was awesome I took it out Christmas day with Uncle Randy Johnson uh right behind the cabin and just paddled this creek called Big Creek right in our backyard. So that's where I got my first kayak. So yeah, I was 14 years old, I suppose. My empty truck weighs 9,000 without a camper. <laughs> yeah, this truck, this truck's like 8,500 pounds. So yeah, I'm there with you. Oh, thanks, Make an Adventure. I appreciate that, bro. You should do a video on 7.3 upgrades. <laughs> yeah. I should, I actually took a lot of video when I was uh, replacing all the sensors. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of like helpful how-to videos on how to fix your 7.3. So, and that's what's awesome about YouTube is I've used it so much to fix my own stuff. Just watching videos and you learn from it. So it's fun to contribute back to it and, uh, you know, just make videos on how to do things. And that way it's helping somebody out. I've gotten several emails people from people that are like, uh, like, hey, thanks for making that video. Like, I was able to fix my truck quick. So I'm like, sweet. I'll keep doing that, I guess. All right, guys. I'm about to peace out. Been with you guys 16 minutes now. So um, there's a lot going on out there. It's a big world. Um, I'm going to get some good footage today, make some cool videos. And, uh, yeah, I think it's gonna, going to be a fun day. I believe so. Oh, thanks, Christine and Raptor. You guys are awesome. Supporting the cause beer money maybe i will have a beer in you today raptor christine if i need a second beer i'll drink one with yours no that's too much i'm a lightweight uh yeah what i'm doing guys uh most overland expo videos you see it just captures like the material stuff and just the things i want to capture the experience so i've been filming like the music at night and the people camping and people came hanging out around like campfires and people meeting each other and trying to capture that side of it. So I think it's been fun. Anyhow, um, I'm going to peace out y'all. Uh, I was going to say, I hope you enjoyed this video, but this isn't a video. It's just a live stream. So, uh, I'll have a video coming out tomorrow morning for you guys to so check it out. I cross the Canadian borderline tomorrow on YouTube. So even though I'm down here already and, uh, yeah, thanks for the support, guys. Uh, we'll maybe even do a live stream, and maybe I'll try to pull Phil over here tomorrow, and we'll do a double with you. So we'll catch you guys later. Peace out, everybody. Go get out there. Have a good Saturday.